What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jerry JSN. Oh, and if you saw my last video uh, where I'm out at the park and I'm walking around, you may have noticed that my microphone died. The mic that I'm using now, this is the, uh, the Rode video mic. Bang, all right? So the Rode video mic uh, that I have is uh, also battery powered. And I said to myself, I gotta get a microphone that's not, you know, uh, battery powered, uh, that has good quality. Uh, XLR is, is, a, is a, you know, kind of a plus, but it's not a necessity. Like, I don't have to have XLR. And I was searching on Amazon. Lo and behold, the company Newer had popped up and they have an XLR microphone. This is the Newer NW82 Condenser Microphone Kit. Yeah. So I want to be able to uh, replace this microphone with this newer microphone. Now let's let's go ahead and take it out the box so you can kind of see, you know, how things look. A little tight in the box. You know, a little little tight in the box. You know, what I'm you know what I'm saying? You little tight in the box. You understand what I mean? You know? It's a nice little leather leather esque box. Open it up. A oh, oh. couple books popped out. Uh, the microphone itself, it's, it's a decent sized microphone, significantly, you know, bigger than the Rode. That's what she said. <laughs> some people call it a windsock, some people call it a day cat. Day cat just sounds so like harsh. Got this long ass XLR cable. Let's take a look at this uh, XLR cable. And this bad boy, I mean, look, look, how, look how much wire there is, right? And this plugs into like a stereo output. I hope that there is a connection for a regular 3.5 because this is gonna go right into the camera. Now, at some point, this will go into an audio mixer, you know, like an audio recorder. For the time being, it's just gonna go right into the camera. And luckily, there is uh, another XLR to 3.5 connection. Now, my mic has a very short um, cable that goes from the mic into an extender and that extender then goes into the camera so i'll be able to plug this uh 3.5 right into that extender and then the xlr right into the back of the microphone now also in the box are mic holders so these are actually two different types one is i want to say a quarter inch i don't know what size the big screw hole is but there is another uh, screw hole that's a little bit smaller. So this is the type of screw hole that I have currently on the road. I could just replace this and then the microphone will go right inside. So here's how the mic looks. Standard condenser mic. It's got a little, the little grills on it. Regular like condenser looking mic. It's got the uh, little grills on the side. It's got the mesh at the top. Now I can screw this in right where the other one was. And then I'll take the XLR cable plugs right in 3.5 plugs into there and then we'll have audio now I don't know oh this unscrews so let's let's take this apart real quick because I think this may require battery so it does require one AA battery luckily I have a bunch of rechargeable batteries I'm gonna say works out in my favor this mic here is a 9 volt and 9 volts don't have like rechargeable 9 volts or maybe they do I don't know I'm gonna pop one of those in test out the sound but first this is a test of my current Rode video mic how does it sound so this is the newer NW82 mic uh, let me know if it sounds any different it might actually be a little bit closer I mean it is still just out of frame but because of the size of the microphone it might actually wind up being closer I'm sorry as you see we have the Rode mic here and and the thing is is this big bulky part, you know, like that's that's where the nine volt battery is. Wouldn't be such a big deal, but this mic, as you saw, was just thinner, and you know, it looks like it, it fits better. That's what she said. When I get into DaVinci and I put the footage in, I'll be able to hear it myself to see exactly, you know, how it sounds. If it sounds any better, if it sounds any worse. The one thing about Rode mics is that uh, sometimes they have controls on them where you can actually, like you can add gain, you can reduce, you can do, you know, all these different kind of things. But because this is an XLR microphone, if ever I decide to get into more high-end videos, plug that XLR right in 
and it goes uh, you know right into the audio recorder as opposed to a 3.5 jack. So I'm not too sure, but I think the uh, 3.5 jacks sometimes have interference issues in the like uh, static interference or radio interference. And I don't think that the XLR mics have that same issue. XLR mic, newer, NW82. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Also, if you like this type of video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. It lets me know what kind of videos you wanna see uh, going forward here in 2023. It's your boy GRHASMO, and I'm at.